Yeah, so I went to Santa Maria. Where's Santa Maria? Cuba is like a small little island for those who don't know. Like, oh, so it's in Cuba? Yeah, it's in Cuba. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's it's Havana in the t- north northwest. Yeah. And Veradera to like two hours east, so southeast. It's Japan, but like flips like 180. Okay, Billy. Like a forward slash. Yeah. From our past on this podcast, you telling me that's like Japan means nothing to me because I'm not, not exactly sure the shape of Japan. God damn it. Okay, it's like a seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> leaning forward. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know what direction forward is. It's a forward slash and a back slash. Wait, oh, that's actually a good question. Which which way are you guys imagining a seahorse when I say it? <laughs> which way is it facing? Right or left? I'm thinking it's dead on the floor. Well, because I know what you're talking about, I'm imagining a force facing to the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thinking of that too. Okay, alright. Wait, that's Japan or is that Cuba? That's, that's, that's Japan. Japan. Okay, and now Cuba, is he swimming left or is he swimming upside he's down? backwards. Yeah, yeah, he's leaning back. He's like doing a lean back. Yeah. Okay. All right, go on. Fuck the geography. Anyways, so yeah, Santa Maria is, is basically kind of, it's not really like the party area. The party area is more a uh, Veradera, yeah. which is two hours away, but it was still pretty good. So we stayed at Memories. It was insane. So it, I think it was like... Is Memories sponsoring you, Billy? I wish they were. It's actually Canadian owned, so they could. <laughs> if they give me money, I'll go again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so each hotel-ish maybe like is separated into like a small little like yeah, I don't know what to call it bungalows or something. What what would they bungalows. be called? Huts? Little huts? I don't know. No, it's not huts. It's Wait, like, are you talking about rooms or uh, resort-wise? Or are you talking about just different buildings? Four, yeah, different buildings. Oh, yeah, it's just different buildings because that's how it was when I go to places like uh, Dominican Republic. We we started counting like how high it went, right? Yeah. And the highest one we saw was maybe like fifty something. Wait, are you trying to go to the highest building? No. Uh, when I went on my trip before. I always thought, because like when you choose an apartment, you want the highest floor, right? Because it's just, I don't know why. They're all the same floor. No, 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 but I'm saying like the higher the better. That's that's just, I guess it's prestige. I don't know. That's the when fuck? you pick your, no, like a place where you live. But when you're at a resort, you want the lowest yeah, level as possible. closest to the food. <laughs> no, it's just that. And if you're drunk, someone's got to carry you up. I don't think they'll want, they'll want to carry you up more than uh, two flights of stairs. No, everything is max three flights of stairs. Yeah. But the, I'm talking about the number of those buildings. There's six. Oh, number of yeah. buildings? Yeah, there was 60 something of those buildings That's insane and there was so there's three floors maybe like 24 rooms per floor times like 60 something and that's all like the highest we saw because there's a whole another half of this resort that we didn't see because we're like there's it's only like residential it was like a massive resort how was the food there i heard cuban food sucked. that's the thing about cuba like i haven't been there myself because everything that i hear because uh when you select your uh, resort like uh what's that website trip advisor right that's a good one to go by they say a five star in Cuba is an equivalent to three star everywhere else, like the DR or Jamaica, or whatever. So I was like thinking, so if I pick something five star, I'll still tr- be treated like shit. So the one I stayed at was five stars, and I would say like in terms of cleanliness of the room, it was fine. Wait, resort is crap, but still Cuba has some of the nicest beaches. That's why I always hear about from Cuba. The beaches were so freaking windy where I was, like it was like blowing us. You away. can't control the wind, man. Yeah, but every single day it was windy. Like that was crazy. Do you go during like? Hurricane season? No, it's winter. It's the end of hurricane season already. Well, you got the end of it. Yeah, it was just really windy when we went, but the beaches are nice. The sand is softer than the sand in uh in Hawaii, but the water was like. How do you test the softness of sand? With your feet, <laughs> and and <laughs> and feeling, you know, <laughs> with your sense of feeling. Well, I guess it's the fineness of the beach, uh, the sand, right? Yeah, like, it's like if you want to get into it, all right, it's like the mushiness of it. <laughs> if it hurts your feet, it's it's really oh, soft. Know, you know where it's nice, though, because I've been to I've only been to Jamaica and the DR. Jamaica has the nicest beach for me. And they had jerk chicken on the beach. Ooh, that's <laughs> so good. that was amazing. So I just go to the, the like a little barbecue hut that they have, mm. grab some jerk chicken, and then go sit on the sand like a hobo. It's pretty dope. Oh, it is dope. What was the craziest thing that you did in Cuba then? Hookers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do any hookers in Cuba. What the hell? <laughs> craziest thing. I really like going on like catamarans. They're, those are cool. Yeah, those are really fun. So one of the weird things that, okay, so I, I don't normally like go to like shows and someone's like, hey, can I get a volunteer? Yeah. So during the catamaran thing, we went to this dolphin uh, expedition area, right? We got like, four catamaran full of people which is equivalent to maybe like 300 or so people in total so they had a show for the dolphins and they had a whole audience of like 300 Wait, people they had a show for the dolphins yeah so the dolphins would like dance oh the like, dolphins performing for you yeah so they would jump through the hoops you know like what you see on like yeah. tv shows and stuff so they jump through hoops and like do their silliness they basically asked for a volunteer and i don't know why i volunteered <laughs> i do it all the time when i do this for like, 300 people <laughs> like uh i remember there was a karaoke night i, I went up sang two songs like open karaoke yeah are you drunk no in front of 300 people 
Well, not 300. But do you know the people? No, this is like in the, the resort uh, stage. Oh. It was karaoke night, and then you just put a song that you want, and then when it's your turn, they call you up. That's crazy. I sang Backstreet Boys. <laughs> okay. And Aerosmith, yeah. Did you go with your girlfriend? Uh, It was for a wedding. For a wedding? Oh, so yeah, there's actually people there you already know. Yeah, so it's all right. But have you done that in front of them already, like the karaoke thing? In front of them? Probably. I go karaoke all the time, but this time was, it was, uh, no, it was a um, resort event. How many people do you think was in the audience? Yeah, let's talk about this audience demographic here like oh no it's the whole resort like because there's only one stage at the resort right so whoever wants to hear people sing they go they want to hear me sing oh my <laughs> god i wouldn't have the balls for that man yeah okay yeah so anyways so i went up there right and i, I had no idea what to expect you know like when they ask you to volunteer i think in yeah. canada like normally like they just do something small and silly right so they had a female go up and then a Wait, male did go you up. get married again <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no no oh thank god no like traumatized like every time <laughs> so what they made the girl do was like uh i think she was like young she was like 14 years old or something oh, and they shit. made her like dance and stuff like oh my Jeez. and then, so she went first i was like oh my god they're gonna make me dance oh, in front of like 300 god. people and so when it was my turn the first thing the person told me to do was take off my shirt so i'm like oh my god it's like no so so i had to do that they started like so instead of me dancing they had to make me like for like powerlifting things they make you like do those flexes and stuff yeah so I had to basically do that, and then music was playing, and give a show to like 300 people. Did you feel sexy? No, that was like, that was like very, very like embarrassing. And then at the end of it, so that like afterwards, they're like, okay, so since you did all that, and you're very like now very manly, you have to do the Tarzan yell <laughs> thing, right? and you have to bang your chest. I'm just like, oh my god. You know what you did? You should did that. But with the most Chinese accent possible. Oh god, I was, I was like, I was like, I want this to be over because I made a terrible mistake. Is any of this on video? No, no. My girlfriend was there, and thank gosh, there's. She took one picture of me on stage. Yeah. But she said because she know that if <laughs> if this was recorded, that it would have gone out <laughs> that she did not record it. So I'm very happy that she did not record it. Man, it's just fired, man. Oh my god, <laughs> I was like, so do not volunteer in a foreign country. <laughs> this no. It's the it's the best to do it in a foreign country because you don't know anyone there. They got to trace the country okay. you're from. Okay, but I had to go on a boat with these people afterwards. <laughs> so for the rest of the week that you're there, everyone's like, hey, it's... No, 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 no. It was just a, the catamaran boat ride back. So it was like a, a three-hour like boat ride around the water still and then yeah. go back. Okay, but everyone on the boat knew who you were by this point. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, I didn't care, but that was a very interesting thing to do. Like, I, like, I normally, like... I don't think I would have done that. Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. When I did the karaoke night, the next day, one of the workers there, he said I, I was really good. I don't know if he was joking or not. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you'll never know. <laughs> so this reminds me of a time that I was on a cruise a few years ago. It was w- during the stand-up comedy shows at the at the cruise. And basically, this one guy's doing his, uh, his whole skit and everything. And there's these rowdy-ass girls at the really front. Were they hot? Uh, not really. No, oh, fuck that. And uh, yeah, this girl was like drunk and everything. And heckling, the guy ended up telling her to like get up on stage or do something funny or she thinks she's all that. And she ended up like flashing everyone. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to pull up Michael Richard. Who the hell is Michael Richard? You know who Kramer is though, right? Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, so she goes up on stage and she flashes everyone. And then the... Were they nice? Uh, she she wasn't that good looking. She's a bit big. Yeah, but if you cover, cover her face. No, he's saying she's a bit big. Oh. Yeah, and I was, I don't know, medium range far and like my eyes aren't that good. Like, I can't even make <laughs> her face, but I can tell that she's kind of big. So... Basically, at that point, the comedian's like, all right, well, I guess that's pretty much the end of my skit. I don't know how I'm going to top that, right? <laughs> and he's like, and then there's another comedian that's supposed to come out right after and follow up. And he's like, I don't know how the hell he's going to top that. Like, well, he's got to come out and flash everyone first before he does his uh, material. Yeah, so it's like, what's the point of this guy even coming out and doing his skit? But then the guy comes out anyways. So it's like, yeah, so uh, I heard what happened. It's like, yeah, I really don't know how I'm going to follow that up, but I'm going to try. And it's like, I don't know, unless you got something else that you can do or something that like can uh, carry the show on. And then she gets on the stage again and she flashes her badge what the crap yeah, she, flashes oh her my badge. God. she was like wearing nothing underneath her dress and like everyone was just like mind blown or just going crazy for the rest of the trip she was just that the flasher what the shit that's pretty fucked up was she really drunk can you tell she was drunk yeah she was really drunk she was on this cruise with this dude that she met like two weeks before the the cruise so she didn't really know the guy either yeah it was like really random no that's normal i because i meet people on that's normal to get super drunk and flash no, no, everything me- meeting people meeting people oh but she met the guy before the cruise and then they decided to go on a cruise together oh, okay that's um, oh that's weird yeah right hey so something have you been on uh so you've been to cruisers obviously have yeah. you been to resorts like uh like on land no i haven't been into any land <laughs> on land <laughs> have you have you ever been on land before <laughs> no resorts I'm I know, I okay billy have, have you been to both Cruise and I have not been to a cruise. I've only been on cruises, but not resorts. Because I'm trying to like, I had this debate with everyone. What's better, like a cruise 
or a resort. Because, like, for me, I, I like going to resorts because I like to go to one country and experience it. But people say they like cruise because you get to experience a little bit of do each you, stop. Do you leave the resort or do you stay in the resort? Oh, no, I leave it. But only on excursions because I'm too... Yeah, me too. Only on excursions. <laughs> too big I don't want to get shanked. Yeah. <laughs> I like my kidneys in me. I don't want to go out by myself and get shot. And get robbed. Right. And have my kidney like stolen like what yeah. Billy said. Kidneys are worth two hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. <laughs> I saw that on like a nine gag post, you know? <laughs> kidneys are worth the most. Well the benefit of a cruise is that I guess you gotta go to multiple yeah, places. Yeah, but you're limited to eight hours. Right. It's it's a five day cruise, like that the ones I've been on, and you only get to go to three places. There's not much you can do. You can do like one excursion. And then you go experience whatever, whatever, and you miss the rest of it, right? So, are you very tired though after cruises? Uh, not really. No. What? You why are you really... tired? You should be more like relaxed and energized because you've been not doing shit for one whole week. Because I've never been on a cruise, so what I'm imagining is like you have to get off the boat a lot, and then do stuff, and then get back on the boat, and get off the boat, and get on the boat. Yeah, because I always hear when people go on a cruise, they have to fly somewhere to get on a boat to go somewhere else to fly back to their initial. I mean, like just while you're on the boat, you have to get on and off the boat a lot. No, it's up to you. Yeah, like if if you're at uh, one of the stops they're pretty much there for the whole day but isn't there always a stop though like i said if you're going on a five-day cruise usually one day is like all travel okay and then you stop at one location and at night they travel to the next location and they're there by the morning so a lot of the times in the evening is when the boat's moving and during the day the the cruise is at the port so you can go down do whatever you want speaking of cruises you hear something really fucked up so i i met someone before they went on a cruise it was also for a wedding and uh what happened was this guy had an interaction with this girl on the cruise Right, but something happened. They complained about this guy, so the people on the cruise says you need to leave. It's on a fucking cruise, right? So what he, what they did to him was they dish him at a port, and from there he had to buy his ticket to fly home. <laughs> it's pretty messy. This is like halfway through the cruise, and he was there for a wedding. From his side of the story, uh, and his friends, he didn't do anything, right? But the bitch made these false accusations just to get get him in trouble. That's pretty messed up. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed listening to this clip. If you want to listen to some other clips from our podcast, click the video on the left. To listen to the full podcast, click the link on the right. And if you would like to subscribe to our channel, click the logo right in the center.